Hey guys, so I wanted to talk about the mathematics behind these things. Matt Parker two weeks ago actually did a video um, asking, you know, um, so at the very end of this video, right, there he counted the the number of um, color combinations, I suppose, you could get with a five colored dodecahedron, dodecahedron st structure like this. And so there are theoretically 24 possible colorings, permutations to the, the five colors for any one given pentagon. But cl clearly on here, there's only 12. And you know, like, um, so the, the side directly opposite to a face has its mirror image. So how do you, like, you know, he proposed, how do you get the other 12? Do you, you know, like, just swap? Can, can you just, like, swap two and get the other 12? Can you make a dodecahedron with the other 12 possible faces? How do you get it? And I personally think, I have not run through a, like, really rigorous proof yet, but I think if you swap two colors, like, any two colors on this thing, you will get the other 12 dodecahedron. And I could show you a little proof in concept, but that's it. So I will, I'll show you like these charts and stuff that I've made. And also while we're on that, um, I made a little time-lapse video for me building this thing. So here's the rest of the video. Okay, so first I want to talk about the math. So from my experience in making this, the first thing you have to know is when you're starting to, like when you're just starting to put it together, it's really already determined after you put in one, two, three, four, five pieces. Like these five pieces determine how the rest, thing, the rest of the thing is going to look, no matter what. So let's take these five for example. If we swapped the orange here and the green here, that would have been a totally different coloring scheme. But if we swapped both the orange green and the red blue, you could see how it's essentially the same thing. Just flipped. It's it's essentially just a mirror image of of what's here. And and indeed, if you flip it back to here, you could see that we have essentially swapped both the green, the blue, red, and the green, orange. So swapping one gives you a totally different dodecahedron. Swapping both gives you actually the same dodecahedron. So yeah, let's run through some graphs and actually prove, well, not exactly prove it, but actually be able to see this better, okay? So here you can see an, the entire chart I made for to document all the faces on this. So for example, the first one there is blue, green, red. Blue, green, going counterclockwise is blue, green, yellow, red. Oh, blue, green, yellow, orange, red. And you could see that face right here. Blue, green, oops, blue, green, yellow, orange, red. And going, so all like this documents all the faces that are on this specific dodecahedron. So the first six are the unique six, which are is this face plus the six adjacent faces. So it's the top half of this dodecahedron. And the bottom six, I simply just um, reversed you know, everything but the blue. So I, for example, for the first one here, I swapped green and red with red and yellow with orange, which, you know, will represent this face because it's the exact mirror image of this face, the very first face face. So, but now, though, here now, you could see that I have a chart of all the faces on the left with yellow and orange swapped. Though that's the only change I made from the chart on the right for each individual face. Take a moment to convince yourself that this is the only change I've made. Hopefully you're done convincing yourself. Now let's label the faces like such. But so with closer inspection, I think the six new faces here on the left are actually six totally new unique faces. 
So the 12 faces here that you could see 1 through 12 and 1a through 12a represents the full 24 possible permutations of a pentagon coloring. And so to further, I guess, kind of prove that would be, so here I swapped yellow and orange, right? But what if I swapped, say, yellow and red? I should be able to swap any two colors and still end up with the same faces, right? So if you look at the chart on the right with the A's, you can see that in fact, indeed, if I swapped yellow and red, 1A would be mapped to 8, 2A would be mapped to 5, 3A would be mapped to 4, 4A to 12, 5A to 7, and 6A to 9. And the rest 7A through 12A are just the mirror images, so 7a would be mapped to the mirror image of 1a, which would be 2. So I think this should show that it's the six permutations on the left are not the same at all from the six permutations on the right. Again, I don't think this is that rigorous of a math proof, but I've convinced myself with it. So yeah, now I have a time-lapse video to show you guys. Enjoy! Okay, so that was definitely not exactly your classical Alice video, but I had fun doing that. I, you know, why not, right? Once in a while, you've got to stress relief with origami. Oh, speaking of stress relief, school starts next week. But um, to sign off, if any of my actual friends, well, if any of my friends like 
at case are watching this, let me know. I'll give this to you. I don't want to keep it. You know, it might become a pretty famous one as a hedron. I don't know. If you like these things, by the way, you can follow me over on Instagram where I make these and post pictures. I think I have pictures of every single one that I've made. And this one will get posted soon enough. Probably tomorrow. I don't know yet. Um, yeah. I will see you all tomorrow, unironic enthusiasm people, unironic enthusiasts. What do we call ourselves exactly? So yeah, see you all next week. Well, I'll see you guys all tomorrow. You'll see me tomorrow also. So, see you next Saturday with a regular Alice video. Probably, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I think I might do a kind of a like fun video on physics. I don't know, but this was your fun video on math. Hope you liked it. I really enjoy folding these. And yeah, again, if you're around the area, let me know. Text me, email me, Facebook me, whatever. And it's, I plan on giving it out on a first come first serve basis. So the first person. This will be yours. And if nobody contacts me, I don't know. It's probably going to end up in a professor's office somewhere. So, you know, if you don't want me to give it to a professor. Okay, well, no, I'm being totally serious. If you want to tell me because I do not want to keep it. I am not keeping it, like, over the summer. I know that much. Okay, see you all next week, tomorrow, whatever, however I sign off. Bye.